Yes, Malema exposing EDA. Um, Malema reveals this to say it's a very interesting one. So with this with this one, I'm gonna have to allow Malema to speak, right? But before I can allow him to speak, it's a nine minute video, guys. So please bear with me. Just let me give this two minutes, whatever, 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 whatever. whatever. Malema speaks about this thing to say there is a problem here. Uh, e, 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 look, e, if you think that ETA, they are very serious about the transformation of this country, you've got to think twice. Why? Because the very same DA have got the numbers now. They can break away from those. And, sorry, and we deal with Palapala. But DA being DA, now they will be voting with Palapala. They will be they will not be voting against Palapala. So in other words, ETA they are saying it is not corruption as long as it involves white people like us. But once in anything that is not in look in anything where we are not involved, it is corruption. Remember how I'm why I'm saying that. Before they went into the government of national confusion, Palapala was a scandal. Palapala was corruption. Now they are inside the government of national confusion. They sign, even have the audacity to put a pen to paper and sign not to fight that corruption anymore. Proving just one point. A uh, they, they associate with corruption. It's just that their problem is if they are not part and parcel of the corruption, then it's corruption. But if they are part and parcel of the corruption, then it's not corruption, it's business. Well, it's not corruption to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay 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 now i will i will look just shortly i'm gonna allow you guys to listen to umalema but think about before 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 i allow you to listen to this one think about it before they joined look at gnu da Palapala was a bigger scandal. Ramaphosa is incompetent. Pala, now they are part and parcel of the very same GNU. Pala, they signed an agreement that says we will not de look, look, vote or we will not oppose or we will not vote for a, look, a vote of no confidence against you in the issues of Palapala. Wait a minute. Wasn't that a corruption they were fighting for? This is to, to prove a point that you are dealing with ama pickle pickle cleaner. U dila nama pogila. Ama og of not. But lest you accuse me of saying things without fact, here is what Julius Malema said. Here. Let me deal with the issue of the, the palapala issue. The, the conclusion then was that there was an abuse of the majority majoritarian approach of the ANC instead of looking into issues. They just use the majority to dismiss the issues. And now today, the ANC does not have majority. What will be an excuse from the DA to say, we did not vote for Palapala because uh, the ANC abused its majority. The ANC does not have majority. 
What made us get defeated last time was not substance, was numbers. Numbers have tilted now in favor of all those who were voting for the impeachment process of the president. So it can no longer be an excuse that there is an abuse of uh, Kalapan uh, majority. There is a issue here, DP, if I'm not wrong. We once, we actually put a motion here in Parliament that that statue in front of Parliament must be removed. And the ANC voting with the DA and them, they voted against removing that statue. Can you someone? No, the, the, the one that is front, in front of my head. Water. The horse one is water, we need water. We're saying, how do you put a water statue in front of Mandela's statue? Uh, and these guys refused. If you remember, and if you are around, we tried to move that thing at night. It's too heavy. <laughs> so uh, the problem has been stopped. And we are still trying to find the ways of uh, uh, dealing with that arrangement. The ANC in Swan actually went to put a fence on Kruka's edge. A fence and protect the ANC cancer in Swan. Protected uh, Kruka's edge. And when the plan, the problem is that after we put a chain uh, and then the truck was on the other side to pull, Metropolis came. So we disappeared. After we disappeared, they realized, no, there is a problem. They went to put a fence, making it very difficult for anyone who wants to remove that statue, legally or illegal. That's how much we are in love with the colonizers. The last point, uh, Judge, I'm not scared of this. I'm the one who spoke about VBS. I'm not scared about this VBS story. There's no Matodi Abidabit. That is a sponsored propaganda that is aimed at intimidating and uh, defocusing the EFF. I will never be defocused by uh, VBS. I will never be intimidated by VBS. I can tell you seated here, and I'm repeating myself, and I'm so disappointed that some Kerry's here doesn't defend me. I sat down with him. I gave him, it was a panel. I said, ask me any question you want to ask me. They asked me the same things that you are, you are trying to create an impression that they are new. Those questions were raised at that time and facts were never found. No leader of the EFF received a VBS money. No EFF received a VBS money. Matozi never alleges in his affidavit that the money was given to the EFF or the leadership of the EFF. In Matozi's affidavit, which is unbelievable and we dispute, is that the money was given to Skamega. A Skamega money which we never disputed. That Skamega confirmed it received the money. To an extent that Skamega was called by the curators of uh, uh, VBS, and Zgamega reached an agreement with the curators of VBS to pay back the loan they took from VBS. That loan has since been paid. So there is no one, even in Zgamega, who has eaten the money of Gogos. They have paid back that money back to the VBS. Try something else. You want to talk about the cut? In the meeting where some of them were interrogating me and thinking they've got facts like you are doing, unless you just arrived from Ukraine, you will not know what are the issues that transpired before. They, made, they even made me to take out my wallet in search of the cut you are talking about. They couldn't find it on me. What makes you want to raise the same issue that you probed me, not through questions, literal search, and the cut you are talking about, you could not find in my position. Try something else. VBS will not work. We have not, we are not here for the first time. We have been trusted, tested before with unfounded allegations which their aim was to achieve a political end. Their abuse of state and the state resources has never uh, intimidated us. There is no one who can raise VBS and silence me. The only thing that is going to silence me from raising matters in this country is death. Outside death, nothing will stop me, nothing will intimidate me. I'm not scared of Ramaphosa and all of his cowards. Let them bring it on. We are ready to fight them. And if they want to arrest, we told them then. 
This thing you are raising in the Matozi evidence was even there before people got arrested for VPS. Why didn't they arrest us then? You cannot put any man of the VPS in our pockets or in the pockets of the VPS. That's what Advocate Dalimpov was saying. He never said the EFF received money. He was saying, let's assume that uh, affidavit of uh, Matozi is true. Even with the version of Matozi, there is no way where he says he gave the EFF money, but there is no way where Matozi says EFF solicited a bribe or asked for a donation. He says he offered, if we're to believe, that uh, particular affidavit. And he doesn't say he has donated money to the EFF account or to the leadership of the EFF. He now speaks about taking the money into Skamega, which he's got contract with, and it is on the basis of that contract that the curators accepted the settlement of Skamega. So the matter is closed, but because you have nothing against the EFF and you want to intimidate it going into this seventh parliament, you go to the dustbin, thresh literal journalism, you start searching for things that are non-existent in an attempt to silence us. Our keeping quiet on this matter is not because we don't have answers, but we are just tired of answering nonsense. Every time we give you facts, you work against the facts because you want to achieve a particular end. The leader of NCC is right. State off is there. With so many billions disappeared, DA never get questioned. Musima Imani received a car from staying off. That matter is still not spoken about. Musima Imani received a house from staying off. That matter is not spoken about. The white corruption in this country is not spoken about. You are trying to use us in relation to VBS to give corruption a black face, which we refuse. You are protecting white corruption in this country at the expense of the progressive people of South Africa to silence them. Even in the Matodi issue, there is a Communist Party that is alleged to have requested, EFM they say in their own paper, never requested, the Communist Party requested the money. The ANC requested the money and gave, Zulim uh, Kise uh, uh, gave uh, an account of a different company. There they implicate them directly and say they requested and even told us where to pay. The EFF did not request if anything we offered to donate to the EFF. But those that are recipient of such donation, which we dispute, are now being attacked as if they are the one who went to solicit the bribe. The ANC in Limpopo, the biggest beneficiary of VBS because they send their municipalities to go and put money in VBS in exchange for gratuity. So that is not spoken about. Again, Ulukwane municipality put money in VBS. None of you has asked the question who was the mayor when Ulukwane was putting money in VBS. The mayor was minister of justice at that time. Thank you. So you having to listen to Uchulias Malema, I think it was it was very clear. There's no need for interpretation. I'm just gonna close by saying I'm very displeased at the people that voted for ETA, especially the clever blacks. Because I mean, how do you feel now that now that you have voted for them? This hypocrisy before before this whole thing of uh GNU, remember they were pro pro this, pro that, fixing the country. Do you now see your DA as local for who they are? I hope you do. If you think that DA is going to fix the country, never. Forget and smile. DA is going to enrich themselves and their funders paid. Why I'm saying that is because if, for instance, you voted for ETA with the hope that they are going to change things, with the hope that they are going to you know, better the situation in South Africa uh, for the black people because Bona, they, they, look, they hate corruption. Now, tell me something. When they put that, uh, when they sign on the dotted line that they would not vote against Ramaphosa in the vote of no confidence, what they were saying. Let me give you a, pre pre look up, a, a very simple thing, simple scenario, and you'll decide yourself. Um, there is something that police will do, will arrest you if you, if you, if you are found um, among these things, right? Say, for instance, there are people who are going to rob uh, who are going to commit a heist, right? 
And so you happens to know about it, but you keep quiet. You are called an accomplished. If you knew that the crime is happening and you know that this is done by one, two, and three, and four people, you know how the crime, the, the crime came about, and you don't inform the police, you know what you do? You're an accomplished. If after the crime has happened, you know exactly that so-and-so committed this crime, and uh, police wants an evidence, and you still decide to keep quiet, you could be arrested as an accomplice because you knew all of these things, but you decided not to report it to the police. Think about it that from that perspective, right? So if you know something, if you have seen something and you still decide to do it or to, to take along, you are an accomplice. You will be an accomplice of ETA if when you decide that you're still going to vote for ETA. You are an accomplice. What have they, what have they done? That now you are like, you know what? I'm very pleased I didn't waste my vote. What have they done so far? That is impressive. The 300 million was never exposed by them. It was actually exposed by Uzigalala, but DA took credit for that because they are very good in taking people's credit. What has they actually done? It's a question that I want you to answer. If you think that your DA, really they've done anything better, show me what they've done. I'm more than willing.